Parshat Bereshit of the Holy Scriptures according to the Masoretic Text, a new translation, Genesis. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Patty Cunningham. Parashat Bereshit, Genesis 1 1 through 6 8. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now the earth was unformed and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God hovered over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, one day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And there was evening, and there was morning, a second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth put forth grass, herb yielding seed, and fruit tree bearing fruit after its kind, wherein is the seed thereof upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, herb yielding seed after its kind, and tree bearing fruit, wherein is the seed thereof, after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, a third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven, to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let fowl fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created the great sea monsters, and every living creature that creepeth wherewith the waters swarmed, after its kind, and every winged fowl after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after its kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after its kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after its kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the ground after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that creepeth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb yielding seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is a living soul, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, 
and behold it was very good and there was evening and there was morning the sixth day and the heaven and the earth were finished and all the host of them and on the seventh day god finished his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made and god blessed the seventh day and hallowed it because that in it he rested from all his work which god in creating had made these are the generations of the heaven and of the earth when they were created in the day that the lord god made earth and heaven no shrub of the field was yet in the earth and no herb of the field had yet sprung up for the lord god had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground then the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul and the lord god planted a garden eastward in eden and there he put the man whom he had formed and out of the ground made the lord god to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food the tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and a river went out of eden to water the garden and from thence it was parted and became four heads the name of the first is pishon that is it which compasseth the whole land of havilah where there is gold and the gold of that land is good and there is bdellium and the onyx stone and the name of the second river is jihon the same is it that compasseth the whole land of cush and the name of the third river is tigris that is it which goeth toward the east of ashur and the fourth river is the euphrates and the lord god took the man and put him into the garden of eden to dress it and to keep it and the lord god commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die and the lord god said it is not good that the man should be alone i will make him a helpmeet for him and out of the ground the lord god formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto the man to see what he would call them and whatsoever the man would call every living creature that was to be the name thereof and the man gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field but for adam there was not found a helpmeet for him and the lord god caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the place with flesh instead thereof and the rib which the lord god had taken from the man made he a woman and brought her unto the man and the man said this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh and they were both naked the man and his wife and were not ashamed now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said unto the woman yea hath god said ye shall not eat of any tree of the garden and the woman said unto the serpent of the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god hath said ye shall not eat of it neither shall ye touch it lest ye die and the serpent said unto the woman ye shall not surely die for god doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as god knowing good and evil and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and she gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat and the eyes of them both were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves girdles and they heard the voice of the lord god walking in the garden toward the cool of the day and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the lord god amongst the trees of the garden and the lord god called unto the man and said unto him where art thou and he said i heard thy voice in the garden and i was afraid because i was naked and i hid myself and he said who told thee that thou wast naked hast thou eaten of the tree whereof i commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat and the man said 
the woman whom thou gavest to be with me she gave me of the tree and i did eat and the lord god said unto the woman what is this thou hast done and the woman said the serpent beguiled me and i did eat and the lord god said unto the serpent because thou hast done this cursed art thou from among all cattle and from among all beasts of the field upon thy belly shalt thou go and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life and i will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed they shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise their heel unto the woman he said i will greatly multiply thy pain and thy travail in pain thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee and unto adam he said because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife and hast eaten of the tree of which i commanded thee saying thou shalt not eat of it cursed is the ground for thy sake in toil shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee and thou shalt eat the herb of the field in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground for out of it wast thou taken for dust thou art and unto dust shalt thou return and the man called his wife's name eve because she was the mother of all living and the lord god made for adam and for his wife garments of skins and clothed them and the lord god said behold the man is become as one of us to know good and evil and now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live for ever therefore the lord god sent him forth from the garden of eden to till the ground from whence he was taken so he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of eden the cherubim and the flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way to the tree of life and the man knew eve his wife and she conceived and bore cain and said i have gotten a man with the help of the lord and again she bore his brother abel and abel was a keeper of sheep but cain was a tiller of the ground and in process of time it came to pass that cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the lord and abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof and the lord had respect unto abel and to his offering but unto cain and to his offering he had not respect and cain was very wroth and his countenance fell and the lord said unto cain why art thou wroth and why is thy countenance fallen if thou dost well shall it not be lifted up and if thou dost not well sin coucheth at the door and unto thee is its desire but thou mayest rule over it and cain spoke unto abel his brother and it came to pass when they were in the field that cain rose up against abel his brother and slew him and the lord said unto cain where is abel thy brother and he said i know not am i my brother's keeper and he said what hast thou done the voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground and now cursed art thou from the ground which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand when thou tillest the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength a fugitive and a wanderer shalt thou be in the earth and cain said unto the lord my punishment is greater than i can bear behold thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the land and from thy face shall i be hid and i shall be a fugitive and a wanderer in the earth and it will come to pass that whosoever findeth me will slay me and the lord said unto him therefore whosoever slayeth cain vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold and the lord set a sign for cain lest any finding him should smite him and cain went out from the presence of the lord and dwelt in the land of nod on the east of eden and cain knew his wife and she conceived and bore enoch and he builded a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son enoch and unto enoch was born erad and erad begot mahujael and mahujael begot methushael and methushael begot lamech and lamech took unto him two wives the name of one was ada and the name of the other zillah and ada bore jabal he was the father of such as dwell in tents and have cattle and his brother's name was jubal he was the father of all such as handle the harp and pipe 
and zilla she also bore tubal cain the forger of every cutting instrument of brass and iron and the sister of tubal cain was nama and lamech said unto his wives ada and zilla hear my voice ye wives of lamech hearken unto my speech for i have slain a man for wounding me and a young man for bruising me if cain shall be avenged sevenfold truly lamech seventy and sevenfold and adam knew his wife again and she bore a son and called his name seth for god hath appointed me another seed instead of abel for cain slew him and to seth to him also there was born a son and he called his name enosh then began men to call upon the name of the lord this is the book of the generations of adam in the day that god created man in the likeness of god made he him male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name adam in the day when they were created and adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name seth and the days of adam after he begot seth were eight hundred years and he begot sons and daughters and all the days that adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years and he died and seth lived a hundred and five years and begot enosh and seth lived after he begot enosh eight hundred and seven years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of seth were nine hundred and twelve years and he died and enosh lived ninety years and begot kenan and enosh lived after he begot kenan eight hundred and fifteen years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of enosh were nine hundred and five years and he died and kenan lived seventy years and begot mahalalel and kenan lived after he begot mahalalel eight hundred and forty years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of kenan were nine hundred and ten years and he died and mahalalel lived sixty and five years and begot jared and mahalalel lived after he begot jared eight hundred and thirty years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of mahalalel were eight hundred ninety and five years and he died and jared lived a hundred and sixty and two years and begot enoch and jared lived after he begot enoch eight hundred years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of jared were nine hundred sixty and two years and he died and enoch lived sixty and five years and begot methuselah and enoch walked with god after he begot methuselah three hundred years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of enoch were three hundred sixty and five years and enoch walked with god and he was not for god took him and methuselah lived a hundred eighty and seven years and begot lamech and methuselah lived after he begot lamech seven hundred eighty and two years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of methuselah were nine hundred sixty and nine years and he died and lamech lived a hundred eighty and two years and begot a son and he called his name noah saying this same shall comfort us in our work and in the toil of our hands which cometh from the ground which the lord hath cursed and lamech lived after he begot noah five hundred ninety and five years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of lamech were seven hundred seventy and seven years and he died and noah was five hundred years old and noah begot shem ham and japheth and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of god saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives whomsoever they chose and the lord said my spirit shall not abide in man for ever for that he also is flesh therefore shall his days be a hundred and twenty years the nephilim were in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of god came in unto the daughters of men and they bore children to them the same were the mighty men that were of old the men of renown and the lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually and it repented the lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart and the lord said 
I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and creeping thing, and fowl of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. End of Parashat Bereshit Recording by Patty Cunningham